Foxy shit his yeah. powers going. Like, if you're this goon, I understand that you're wearing a mask, but your eyes work, right? Like, you've got to see what's happening here. Maybe you should go to a different approach other than jump kick. Yeah. But no. So he fucking hits him with a fucking, fucking print. Guy. Elsa fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's let it go. Ah, let it go, let bitch. It freeze, and then bitch. he fucking freezes him. He break, dies. Mm-hmm. You see his head there. We get the first flawless victory. The only one that is legitimate. Yep. He says flawless victory for a lot of fights. This is the only one that actually is a flawless victory. Yeah, because he doesn't touch him. Yep. That's the rules. Yep. So we get the hero sneaking in on the bad guy's banquet. Yeah. And they get fucking chicken. They get no tables getting turned over. Yeah. Fucking Kano's eating the fucking... Kano's eating the biggest piece of chicken. I mean, that can't be chicken. That's that's yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. fucking... A pig or a cow's leg that he's just chomping on. And he's talking to Goro. Yeah, well, well, I like how the... Because the, the, the heroes are looking around going... Who the fuck is he talking to? Like, this doesn't seem right. And then we finally get a shot of Goro, who is... Who, up to this point, there was images of his hand and a yeah. shadow of, like, him going... And they're like, yeah. what the shit is that? <laughs> Which is the proper response. And then you finally see him, and he looks fucking great. Because, again, animatronics will beat This is CGI such a great every scene. Day. It really is. He's just like, where Kano's trying to big himself up, yeah. and I'm like... Because because Goro's this guy. I am. I am. He's like general you're, to you're the some kind of, You're some kind of royalty, aren't you? I am Goro, Prince of Outworld, and then he's like general oh, yeah. to Shao Kahn's armies. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, back home, I'm something of royalty too. I'm the <laughs> I'm the big man of the underground, and it literally like fucking Goro knocks the wine over. and goes, "How lucky for them back home," <laughs> and Kano flat out shits himself. Yep, like oh. Fuck, he's calling me on my shit. I love shit. it. It's like subterranean. Yeah. It's like underground, right? Underground, right? Well, I'm sort of an underground man myself. <laughs> and then Jake Song walks in and is like, yes, that's why we have him. Because yeah. he's such a big fucking guy a bunch of, uh, amongst the reprobates of, mm-hmm. of Earth. Meanwhile, eventually we find out exactly why he's there. Yep. Um, so... They, where the fuck, did, how, do we, how do we get to the point that's idiotic here? So they sneak out. Yeah, okay. Liu Kang goes on his own because he just wants to... Uh, no, he sees Princess Katana. Yeah. And he's got to follow her. Yeah, and, he's just, and then he's just like, she's going to help us. Yeah. He's like, and, how do you know, what do you, stop thinking with your and, dick, yeah. dude. And like, <laughs> again, this is where we get to the romance part. It's like, Liu, she's 10,000 years old, man. And he's like, I don't care. I'm like, to his credit, she looks like that at 10,000. Yeah. I'm all right. He, he runs afoul of Reptile, who sprays him in the eyes, but mm. nothing bad. It's not like acid. He just kind of, mm. like, blinds him for a second. Yeah, so we've ignored the video game already. And then he just sort of goes, well, I think, I think it's I think it's after Princess Katana. You're half right. Yeah. Um, this is where they go into the throne room, where mm-hmm. they were. Where and apparently, Kano and Goro, who, Kano and Goro who have left, just peaced out. Sing song. All right. And they fight goons to the theme song. Which, isn't that exactly against what Raiden just said earlier? Like... You're not supposed to attack them, yet these goons just did. And isn't that against the rules of the tournament? Doesn't Outworld forfeit? Isn't the movie over? Yeah, I don't know what the actual rules are. Well, he said that's against the rules. If you break the rules, I would assume you forfeit. No, you break the rules, but none of the goons. Because the goons aren't in the tournament. I think it's a thing. It's people who are in the tournament. Yeah, but they were sent by Shang Tsung, so I don't know. He's that's... not... That seems like that seems like some if shady Shang Tsung shit, isn't man. attacking them directly with know, Sub Zero and Goro and Kano and Scorpion. You know what? Get me the fucking rule book. Yeah. I'll I'll piece this shit together. <laughs> There's some guy in a referee official like yeah, hey, hey, Mortal hey. Kombat rule book, but it's not a book. It's like a scroll. Yeah, because it's ancient. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Subsection A, mm-hmm. B. One, two, three. You are not allowed to attack the fight. No one in your employ is allowed to attack the <laughs> fighters. We're done here. Mortal Kombat over. My Credits. question is this. They have to win ten, and the humans only have to win one, and that world's like, fuck this. No, no, no. You have to win ten in a row, and they've won yeah. nine. So if you win one, it breaks the streak. So why why does that have to... Shouldn't... For them to help. Also, like, why did you wait to get it to nine? When they were at like six, seven, when they're closing in on ten, yeah. that's when you bring in fucking Lu yeah. Kang and the fucking Well, they weren't alive yet. I guess. I, oh, yeah, and in all fairness, enough. Kung Lao, if he was in the movie, was probably the, the Temple of the Lights champion from like fucking, you know, 20 decades ago. He wasn't in the sequel either, was he? No. 
He's going to be in the new movie, though. Yes. Was he? No, that was somebody no. else. Yeah. He's going to be in the new movie, though. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, they fight the goons. Theme song plays. It's mm-hmm. great. That's awesome. Good uh, fight. Raiden's team. sitting there going, that was good. Yeah. But what, what do you plan to do about them? And, they're like, and well, it's a bunch more goons, but with weapons this time. Yeah. And they're about to fight again. And this is right. Ah, ah, ah. And then uh-uh. a fucking little lightning. Yeah. Which he should have done before, but whatever. Raiden's an asshole. He wanted to see Raiden's kind of fight. a dick. Yeah. Like, let's just face it. He's kind of a dick, and he's doing this to entertain himself. So they walk, they make a fucking path. They mm-hmm. <laughs> fucking Johnny Cage's like, yeah, that's right, yeah, that's right. Bitch. You're lucky he showed up. Uh-huh. I would have smoked all your asses. I wish they had done the joke, and I know it's overdone all the time, but I wanted him to get a bit of his comeuppance where he's like, you're lucky, stop this. And I wanted one of them to fucking go, <laughs> <laughs> and he just turns back like, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. You gotta have you that joke. You can't bitch him out too much. You can. Uh, so combat begins! Yes. Where Liu Kang fights some unknown guy. And beats him. This guy's straight up human. Yeah. We didn't even attempt to change him into something yeah, else, yeah. which is weird. But in all fairness, a lot of these people are. So he beats him. Yeah. Uh, and fucking Shang Song just gets up, and your soul is mine. Yeah, I'm gonna steal your fucking soul. And I think Luke Kang just goes, "Wait, that's what we're doing here." Um, and then he says another line from the game: "Fatality." Fatality. Which Luke Kang didn't kill him. That was you. You're well, he fatality. Yeah, him. that's not how this works, um, man. Then fucking Sonya kills Kano in, well, like, a quick fight. Yeah. Um, well, that's because she didn't have time to train. Yeah, yeah. Um, she cuts her pants into shorts. Somebody else mentioned this, but yeah. I have to point it out. She cuts her pants into shorts, and they apparently grow back later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because, remember, she didn't bring any clothes with her. So she cuts her pants into shorts, and they eventually grow back. But I'm not complaining. No. Um, yeah, this was weird and, like, awkward because, like... He just says, like, give me a break. And she says, okay, and snaps his neck. I'm like, you're a fucking cop. Like, I don't care Hell what... bent on revenge, Steve! You for can't... the death of her partner! You can't do this. Like, this is this goes back to Lethal Weapon, where it's like, no! None of this well, would listen, happen! they're not in whatever jurisdiction she has. They're in fucking... Well, yeah, they're in the middle of fucking nowhere, because yeah. at one point in time... Luke it's not like your police to... captain's gonna come down on her going, Damn it, Sonya you Blade! <laughs> well, that's the thing. She, like, she like tries her radio and it's not working. And then Luke Kang just goes, Yeah, your radio equipment's fine. Check your compass. And her compass is spinning all over the place. Like, yeah, oh, we're you're nowhere. just in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, we're nowhere. Yeah. You understand? And he kills her. And is it just he, me or does yeah. he still is he still breathing? Like the actor? Oh, yeah. The actor is straight up breathing. Doesn't yeah, yeah, even yeah, yeah. attempt to, you know. I think he's still drooling. Because he does drool on her leg. Which grossed me out even when I was a kid. But yeah, he's still breathing. He's perfectly fine. Um, you know, well, at least they didn't kill the actor. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's good to know. So he's happy. Like, yes. Because Shang Tsung is happy about it. Well, because she killed someone, and yeah. he likes death. And although, I don't He think... also likes her. <laughs> well, he makes he... that abundantly clear throughout this entire film of, like... Well, the man has eyes. What you know? do you want? Because uh, even in this one, he's like, I have something you want. You can thank me later. Yeah, <laughs> that's just straight up dick. Um... Yeah, that's gross. But at the same time, this is Veronica Vaughn from Billy Madison. So yeah. fuck yes, all right? That's all I'm so Johnny Cage shows up in a fucking random field. Okay. And is attacked by Scorpion. Here's my question. This is a tournament fight. How? Yeah, there's nobody around. There's no one around. Shang Tsung's not even there to fucking say his pointless, flawless victory thing, which clearly isn't true. Like... How is this a tournament fight? They have no a one's fight. there. Fucking get over here, the yeah. whole thing. We Fucking... finally get that, but it doesn't actually accrue to anything. He does more talking, though. There's like, get down here. Yeah, and... like, he does say something, like, he says a handful of other phrases where I'm like, you should just stick to the yeah, two, yeah, my yeah. friend. Because uh, he does say, like, at some point when, okay, so they have their fight, whatever, the... the, the like an awesome, dope-ass shadow kick. Yeah, and then he shadow kicks into another uh, realm. Freddy Krueger's fucking lair. Basically, wet dream. <laughs> and then... This is where he says, welcome. And I'm like, yeah, no, you shouldn't be saying that. Just stick to come here, get over here, we're done. Yeah. Um, and he says, like, get down here when Johnny Cage is, like, flipping up in the thing. And he's on a scaffolding, which, you know, is clearly the worst scaffolding ever because he, it's one kick and it's down. Yeah. Um, Safety codes here are just Yeah, like, just terrible. rampantly bad. But we do get one of the coolest shots of the flick where he rips off his face and we get... This is the, a good CG. We get, we get the straight up fatality you've always wanted where he rips off his face, it's a skull, he breathes fire, which Johnny Cage sees coming, grabs a random shield that's sitting around. That has just fucking spikes. Skulls. Spikes and skulls everywhere. And it's like, oh, look at that. Okay. 
And, and then he uses this thing to cut him up and yeah. kill him viciously. And he does, because he cuts him up, and apparently his blood is gasoline, because it immediately ignites him on fire, and he's done. And it shows up with a signed autograph yeah, to a fan. His, it's a his friendship. friendship from Mortal Kombat 2, which, yeah, like, alright, that's cute. I'll take that. Uh, Liu Kang mm-hmm. and Shang Tsung are just on the beach. Yeah. Okay, fight! Get right. him, Lou. You made a point that, like, earlier in the I'm film, you're like, you. where are you going, Lou? I need to find Shang Tsung. Like, he's dead. Yeah, he's going to get him. Like, this man killed your brother. He's right here. Fucking. Nope. Go. Nope. Go. Conversation time. Nope. Conversation time. Here comes Princess Katana. And they have a fight? Question mark? I don't know if it's supposed to be a tournament tournament. Fight. I don't know, because it's never explained as and to why they can like, fight. And she's explaining, the like, in your next fight. Use the element which brings life. It's just like, but this is his next fight. You yeah. guys are fighting. Are you not fighting? And when he, if he wins, are you not supposed to lose your soul? I mean, I guess, you know, she's Shao Kahn's daughter, so probably not. But is this, I don't know what's going on. Like, much like the the, the, the Scorpion fight, which clearly can't be a tournament fight, this clearly can't as well. Are we just, it's, it, you know, we're taking the night off, we're just going to have random fights now? Well, just like the Johnny Cage Scorpion fight, his next yeah. fight right now, Sub-Zero, yep. in in the a temple castle. with no it, one around. No one around except for like a couple goons who I think are doing janitorial work. Yeah, well, I, well, first of all, one of them is Raiden, yeah. who drops a bucket down of water, because, uh, you know. I know what's going to happen. Water. <laughs> I'm fucking Raiden, I know this shit. So, this fight's a lot more anticlimactic than the Johnny Cage Scorpion fight. Although it does have the greatest fight in scene in history. And it was an unfortunate necess- necessity. There's a scene where, you know, they're fight, 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 kick, 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 and then Sub-Zero backflips down a ramp. Yeah. And then you get the most stupidest, awkward fucking Liu Kang runs down the same ramp and just jumps up and goes, yeah! There is a reason for that. Because I always thought, like, why did he do that? Robin Shu was supposed to do the same thing. He was supposed to backflip down the ramp, too. But on the day, he couldn't do it. So they're just like, just do something. So that's what he did as a joke. And they fucking kept it in. <laughs> Leave it in. Mm-hmm. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's literally what happened. So he gets him, fucking uses the water, fucking throws a spike through him, I think. Yeah. Freezes somehow, him to death. Somehow, I'm like, I don't know how you can freeze Sub-Zero to death, but okay. The same reason that you can light Scorpion on fire. Like, Fair come enough. On. So yeah, the only problem I have, I mean, I, thankfully they expanded the Scorpion Johnny Cage fight, mm-hmm. is that Scorpion and Sub-Zero, who are arguably, from the first game, they the are two the most, most popular, popular characters. characters yes. They go out very easily. Go out very easily in this film. Mm-hmm. Like, they're introduced... Fucking Sub Zero kills Goon, Yippee Skippy. Yeah, and then they're dead. Yeah. In all fairness, though, this is why again it's very accurate to the video game because there, this is how the game goes. Yeah. It's just random fights, and then the only fights that matter are Goro and Shang Tsung. So Shang Tsung goes up to Goro, going, "We've let these humans win enough, Goro. Time you... for you to do your shit." Ah! And then he fucking kills you everybody. A, yeah, you get a montage of, of several attacks. Of just him murdering just, every yeah. random human martial artist who's shown up mm-hmm. to this tournament. They're yeah. all dead. Yeah. And the scene ends with him yeah. fighting Art. Art's they, like doing his fucking, fucking warm up. And... It's funny because now this is where they're like, Art, yeah, come on, buddy. No, they're, yeah, they're this. all in his corner. I was like, come on, buddy. Like, even Sonya, who heretofore doesn't seem to have met him. They're all just like, yeah, you've got this, buddy. Come on, you can do this. And I'm like, we don't know this asshole. Like, I would assume over the span of however long they've been on the island, they've become friendly. But still, still. Again, he should have been, if Art was going to be this the guy. The way they act when Goro kills him is, is too much. Yeah. Because he should have been there during all the Raiden scenes telling everybody they're important. But no, he wasn't. So... As much as, like, we understand that these characters give a shit, we don't. Yeah. We have not been given yeah. any reason to give a shit that Art is dead, and yet we're supposed to react the same way they do. Because yeah. especially Sonya, who fucking loses like, her shit. Yeah. yeah, like, she, like, goes ape shit, and you're like, but we don't know this guy. Time to die, and then he kills him. Yeah. And then fucking Shang Tsung takes his soul. And then says flawless victory again, which, no. Well, no, I guess Art he got a couple. Oh, no, Art I got a couple of shots in. A couple shots. 
I mean, it didn't do much, but I mean, in a world where if we're playing the game, down some it would have taken down some health. That, that's not flawless. So Raiden's like talking to the heroes, and they're.